Sahlan. This is Welsh ASMR 82. Hey, how are you doing? Um, I'm going to start doing a video, um, maybe even a week, on football facts about different teams. I'm going to start off with some of the big teams in Saudi Arabia, and if I get enough comments in this video and other subsequent videos, then I'll do some other big uh, teams from places like um, Egypt, for example, and other countries. So if your favourite football club is Samalek, or maybe Al Ahli, or um, Assad, then uh, write a comment under this video and ask me to do them in the future. Okay, I'm going to read about Al Hilal today and their history and all their achievements and I hope you either learn something or you get really relaxed from the video. Okay, Al Hilal, Saudi football club, Nadi Al Hilal Saudi or simply Al Hilal is a professional multi-sports club based in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The football team competes in the Saudi Professional League. Founded on the 16th of October 1957, Al-Hilal is one of four teams to have participated in all seasons of the Saudi Professional League since its establishment in 1976. Overall, Al-Hilal have won 64 official titles on the national and international stage and 100 counting friendly trophies. In domestic competitions they have won a record 17 professional titles, a record 13 Crown Prince Cup titles, a record 7 Saudi Federation Cup titles, 9 King Cup titles, a record 3 Super Cup titles and also the Saudi Founders' Cup. Internationally, Al-Hilal has a record eight Asian Football Confederation trophies, the AFC Champions League in 1991, 2000, 2019, 2021, the Asian Cup Winners' Cup in 1997 and 2002, and the Asian Super Cup in 1997 and 2000. In September 2009, Al-Hilal was awarded Best Asian Club of the 20th Century by the IFF-ACE-HS. Okay, so we know that gets in blue. The home kit and their away kit at the moment is in grey. They are called Al-Zaim, the boss, the Blue Waves, the Royal Club, the Century Club, Asia Galacticos. And they play at the King Fahad International Stadium, which is nicknamed the Pearl of Stadium, the Rat Al Ma'alib, or simply the Pearl Al Atur. Um, it's in Saudi Arabia and Riyadh. It's currently used mostly for football matches and also has athletic stadia facilities. Sorry. Athletics facilities, built in 1987 with a capacity of over 67,000. Uh, it also has one of the largest stadium roofs in the world. It is a venue for matches in the FIFA World Youth Championship. Open street map. Ooh. Shabab and Nasser up until 2020 and Al-Hilal Al 
Al-Hilal Club was originally known as the Olympic Club. During its founding by Abdul Rahman bin Saad bin Said on the 15th of October 1957 in Riyadh. The club's name lasted for only one year before it was changed to its current name on the 3rd of December 1958 by King Saud. He changed the name after he attended a tournament that was contested between the Olympic Club, Al Nasr, Al Riyadh, and El Kaukab clubs. As soon as the club's establishment, Al Hilal enjoyed not only grassroots support, but also royal attention. After spending their formative years building a squad, the club made their first mark by lifting the King's Cup trophy in 1961. That began a period in which the club won 50 official competitions. Al Hilal recaptured the King's Cup in 64 with a penalty shootout over two-time Asian champions Al Ittihad. The club were inaugural winners when the Saudi Premier League came into existence in 76-77. Al Hilal won the title another 14 times and finished runners-up on 12 occasions in the space of 32 years. Al Hilal also have nine Kings Cup. 12 Crown Prince Cup and 8 Saudi Federation Cup titles. With the success, a number of players and coaches from outside Saudi Arabia joined the club in the 1970s, including Brazilian legends Mario Zagallo and Roberto Rivellino. In 91, they won the first Asian title, the Asian Club Championship, beating Iranian club Esteghlal FC in penalties in the final. They won it again in 1999 and 2000, when they scored an equaliser in the 89th minute and won the match against Jubilo Iwata in extra time, Jubilo Iwata of Japan, of course. Lastly, they won again in... Nine mm, well, this hasn't been updated because they just won it again in 2021. In the final, they played against the Japanese club Urawa Red Diamonds, to whom they lost in the final two years before. They successfully took a revenge, took a revenge, Shinabe, and won 3 0 in two legs. This was the starting team Al Mayouf, Chang, Bulahi, Shahrani, Al Break, Otaif, Al Faraj, Atusari, Carvillo, Gomi, Chovinko. Let's go back to Sampdoria. Gomi's still with you, isn't he? I know he's gone to Galatasaray. Right? Carriage was there. Right? And Chang. Um. Al. Um. 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 Al Hilal were also the runners up four times. Oh dear. They were second after the Ram Robin. Yomuri FC were crowned champion automatically as Al Hilal weren't able to field a team for the final due to nine of the starting players being chosen for the Saudi team's preparation camp that clashed with a date for the first leg. Oh dear. That wouldn't happen nowadays. Al Hilal reached the final of the AFC Champions League in 2014, 14 years after their last appearance in the final. This time they faced, oh god, Western Sydney Wanderers. The club won 1 0 on aggregate. Al Hilal reached the final again in 2017, but they lost to Urawa Red Diamonds. In 97, they capped the Asian Cup Winners' Cup and the Asian Super Cup, which they lifted again in 2002. Al Hilal currently play their home games at King Fahad International Stadium in Riyadh, a stadium that was constructed in 87, 67,000 supporters. The club's reserve team, Green Prince the club's reserve team stadium, Prince Faisal bin Fahed Stadium, was used in 2011-12, when the King Fahed Stadium was under renovation. When Prince Abdurrahman bin Musaad became the president of the club in 2008, there was a serious idea of making Al-Hilal home venue, but it was shortly declined. 
rivalries. Al Hilal has a long standing rivalry with Ittihad. From the start of national competition, the clubs were seen as representative of the two biggest cities in Saudi Arabia Riyadh, Riyadh and Jeddah. While Al Hilal have won four Asian Cup championships in 91, 99, 2000, 2019, and 2021. Ittihad has won the AFC Champions League twice in a row in 2014 and 2003, 2004, 2005. Al Hilal has won the Saudi Saudi El Clasico 62 times, while Ittihad has won it 50 times, and the two sides have drawn 35 times. Um, in 2019, the biggest win was when Al Hilal defeated. Oh no, I don't know what that is. The biggest win was when Al Hilal defeated Etihad 5-0 in the 2009 2010 season. Another rivalry is with their neighbours Al Nasser, which is called Riyadh's Derby. They have met 148 times. Al Hilal has won 59, lost 48, and had 41 games ended in a draw. The biggest win is for Al Hilal when they defeated Al Nasser 5 1 in the year 2016 17. The rivalry with Al Nasser is violent between them more than the rivalry with Al Ittihad. As an example, when Al Hilal reached the 2014 Champions League final, the second leg Al Nasser fans awaited Western Sydney Warriors arriving at the airport to spur them on against Al Hilal and try to sabotage Al Hilal's ticket plan. Naughty, naughty. Al Hilal Istiqlal, rivalry or Asian El Clasico is the name of a Football rivalry for any match between Al Hilal and Istiqlal. This historic competition has been held 12 times in the Asian Champions League, Asian Club Championship, and Asian Cup Winners' Cup. Both teams have won the Champions League. Okay, let's have a look at their current squad. So, Abdullah Al Mayouf. Uh, but I think you just bought Mohamed Al Ouais. Yeah, didn't he used to play for Al Ahli? Yeah. And then Ahmed Al Dubai. Abdullah Al Jadani. Uh, Muhammad Al Break. Ali Al Bulhaili. Um, Gustavo Quedjar from Colombia. Salman Al Faraj, Abdullah Al Taif, Odeon Ligalo, we just go from Ashabab. Yes, Ashabab. Uh, Salah Al Shehri, Salah Al Shehri, really? Hmm, okay. Someone different, I don't know him. Yes, Sir Al Shahrani. Oh, yes, Al Shahrani. Abdurrahman Al Ubaid, Abdullah Al Hamdan, but you never play him. Got it from Ashabab. Uh, Mateus Pereira got sent off yesterday. Uh, Nasser Al Daus Tusri, amazing player. Musa Marega, Andre Carillo, Chang Yun Su. Uh, Abdullah Al Malki, oh. Yeah, from Ittihad. I bought a play from Ittihad. Mohamed Kano, he also got sent off yesterday. <laughs> Salam al Dusri, oh no, Salam al Dusri is really good. Who's that? Nasser al Dusri. Salam al Dusri is amazing. Muteb al Mufarrish, Abdullah al Jadani, Musab al Jawair. Abdullah Radif, Mohammed Al Qahtani, Saud Abdul Hamid, Mohammed Jafali, Hamad Al Yami, Michael. Oh yeah, he's great. He's gonna be a very good player for you. Michael Richard Delgado de Oliveira. Mohammed 
Muhammad al Khaybari is not registered apparently. Abdul Bishi Saad al Nasr Sab al Zaid. Luciano Vetto, Vieto. Peshe Nawaf al Khamdi. Leonardo Jardim, do you think that he will be a manager for much longer after the match against Al Ahli and the fact he's only fourth in the league? Do you think he needs to be sacked? Saudi Egyptian Super Cup 2001, Champions League. 91, 2000, 2019, 2021. Current record. Runners up 86, 87, 2014, 2017. Oh, I really hope they'd make the final. I hate Chelsea. <laughs> he played really well against Chelsea, by the way. Well done, Mubarak. Competition Samir al Jabi, Jaber, uh, Yasser al Qatani, very famous, uh, Buffett and Bigumi, Mohammed al Shalhoub, Abdel al Jaman, Carlos Eduardo, Nasser al Shamrani, Yusuf al Thunayan, Omar Harbin, and Salam al Dusari. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see your club next, if your club is Al Nasr, Al Ahli, Al Ittihad, Al Zamalek, Al Ahli, Al Saad, whoever it is, write a comment and I will consider doing them next. But for the moment, here is how to subscribe. I'll leave another video here for you. And I'll see you again very soon. Click like if you enjoyed the video. Okay. Bye bye.